going on YouTube family? No from Kicking the Grass TV. Here's another video, and today I'm just with a little tip video, and because I know you guys love these, and you guys have been requesting tips, so I got a tip request as in what type of rod to use, what's the best rod for pretty much all around fishing. Um, so pretty much this is my opinion and what I like. It all depends on what lake you're fishing too. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but say you're fishing a super deep water lake or you're fishing a really shallow water lake, um, just depends. Um, there's tons of different aspects that determine what's the best all around rod if you're just going to try to find a rod um, that fits pretty much everything. So, but there's probably around two rods that I would recommend, and this isn't a video saying St. Croix is the best rod, I want you to go purchase one of these. This isn't the type of deal. I'm just uh, I'm, I'm discussing on the action and the power of the rod and what I think is best for all around fishing. So if you guys are new to fishing and you're wanting a new rod and you're wondering what action and what power to get, this is the right video for you. So um, pretty much like a medium heavy power fast action or a medium power fast action, um, any one of those right there for the fact of you can pretty much use them with almost all baits. Like, a medium heavy fast action. You can use it with like a chatter bait, you can use it with a spinner bait, you can throw a wobble head on that, you know, you could even throw a jig, you can throw a worm, worm's fine with that, you know, a Carolina rig. You can throw pretty much almost everything with it, especially for you pond fishermen, you're not wanting to carry a lot of rods around, and so you're, you're kind of wanting something that you can throw everything on. But say I was, it, and it all depends, like I said, on the lake. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but say I'm out fishing. Um, ledges on Pickwick. Say I'm fishing ledges on Pickwick. I want a, I want a heavy rod, you know. Say I'm throwing a jig, and I'm fishing in that 30 foot water. You're gonna want more of a backbone. You're gonna want that heavy powered rod, just because when you hook set, you're gonna want to penetrate the hook into the fish. You're gonna have as much power as you can. Um, but for the most all around rod, really that medium heavy, um, fast action, medium fast action rod. The medium fast action rods. Um, would be good with like rattle traps, would be good with like chowder baits as well, um, just a little worm, like a light shaky head, um, Texas rig, stuff like that um, work great as well. And especially in shallow water, like if you're fishing shallow water that's kind of moderately open and you're not like punching, but if you're just fishing shallow water, um, don't worry about that. Just go with a regular like medium heavy fast action rod and you throw most of your, most of your stuff on it. Um, like this, this rod right here, this is actually the Legend Tournament by Synchro Rods. This is one of the rods that I prefer that I love using. Um, this is a 7-1 medium heavy power fast action. Um, and on this one it says spinner bait slash jig and worm. So I mean, pretty much that's covering most of the baits. And obviously if you can throw a spinner bait, you can throw a chatter bait, you can throw a fish head, you can not only just like a shaky head, you can throw a Texas rig, you can throw a Carolina rig, not only the jig, but you can throw the wobble head. See what I mean? It's just the variety is so open on that style of rod. But, and, and what is the difference between the medium and the medium heavy? The medium heavy is going to have a little bit more, <clears throat> you know, it's going to have a little, little more oomph in the rod. Um, so that's pretty much what I would prefer more for like a jig and everything. If I had a medium rod, more than likely I wouldn't be throwing a jig on it. Um, even if I was in super shallow water, just I don't want a really, really flimsy rod. Um, so pretty much, if I had to pick one all-around rod, and if you guys are looking for one all-around rod for pretty much any style of fishing, you're just wanting to go out there and be able to throw multiple baits, be able to pick up a rod and just take one rod with you because you're going out on a friend's boat or you're going out and you're fishing this pond, so you only want one or two rods. Definitely go with like a medium heavy fast action rod or just a regular medium heavy rod. You can't, I mean, you can't go wrong with it. I own so many of these, it's ridiculous. This is just a regular legend tournament by Sinkuru Rods, and I have, I believe, four or five of that exact same rod because I just love it and I can fish pretty much everything with it. Um, so if you guys got some good tips out of this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, if you have any more questions and any more topics that you want me to go over, please leave a comment below. I'd um, love to make the video. And I'm taking tons of suggestions, so please leave a comment below. And thank you guys so much for the support. Um, as you guys know, hit 100K on Instagram. Giveaway is going to be coming soon. Um, no, I can't thank you guys enough for that. It's amazing. My YouTube's finally blowing up. Everything's finally just lifting off. Um, you guys are loving the vlogs and all the funny videos, so I'll be sure to keep on uploading those, as well as tip videos to teach most of you guys 
some more about fishing that are new to fishing. So thank you guys for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. See you guys next time.